And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily merge your HDR photos in Adobe Lightroom 2021. This is very easy to do with the built-in tool, and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is right now in this very quick tutorial. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of raw DNG photos from my DJI Mavic 2 Pro. And what I want to do is I want to merge the bracketed photos together and stack them so that you get that really amazing HDR photo with the beautiful lighting, crisp details, and just overall awesome look. So first things first is we need to identify three of the photos that we want to merge here. So for the sake of this, I'm gonna do one with a really cool looking sunset. So as you can see, one, two, three. Right here, we've got three photos. So I'm gonna select all three of those. I'm gonna deselect this one so that it doesn't pop up. So just select the three photos, four photos, five photos, however many photos you are trying to merge. So once you have your three photos selected like I do here, or however many photos you're trying to merge together, you want to go up to the photo tab, which you'll see at the top here. Select that and go down to the bottom where you see photo merge. You have three options here. You have HDR merge, panorama merge, and HDR panorama merge. We're going to go with HDR merge. So I'm going to select that. It'll gather the data, create the preview. Should take very, very short amount of time. And once that is complete, you'll be able to see a preview of your HDR photo. So I'm sure we'll see it here at any second. There we go. Here's the photo in full screen. And now you do have a couple of options here before you decide to fully merge the shots. So on the right side here, you have auto align. If you turn that off, it will not auto align the photos. You'll have to do that all on your own. So we want that on because that is going to do all the work for you um apply auto settings now this is going to apply some basic edits to your photo to make it look really good this is completely up to you if you want to leave that on and then you have degauss amount the degauss amount i'm not 100 percent sure what that is to be honest um i probably should know what that is since i'm making a tutorial on this feature but to be completely honest with all of you guys as of the recording of this video, I'm not sure what that is. I have played with it to see if there's a difference in the amount of degauss that I add to each photo, but I, I really don't see a difference. So I just leave it at the default of medium. And if you do show degauss overlay, it'll like place this overlay on the photo and show you like, I don't honestly I don't know what it's showing me here so if any of you guys could explain that in the comments that would be great but anyway I'm gonna deselect all that and we're just gonna hit merge so once you hit merge you can see up in the corner there it's performing the merge it takes a second or two but once it's done you're gonna see the merged HDR photo here in your set of all photos um, and as you can see here it is it just popped up and if I select that it now brings up the HDR photo. And when I shot this photo, I was shooting with an ND filter on the drone by mistake. I just was really trying to rush to get the sunset and I didn't want to miss it. So I left the ND filter on there. So you do kind of see some graininess on there, but that was completely on my end. That had nothing to do with the HDR merge. But Overall, if you can go to the editing settings, and as you can see here, certain edits are applied like highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, uh, temperature, tint, vibrant, saturation, like everything is messed with a little bit. So you can go in and do all your own edits. But that is how you edit an HDR photo in Adobe Lightroom 2021. And for any of you guys that were wondering if you can do batch editing of HDR photos within Adobe Lightroom, no, you cannot. Everything that I've seen, you have to do it one by one, which kind of sucks. And I actually use the app down here, Aurora HDR, for all of my batch HDR uh, merging. And then I bring those photos into Lightroom so that I can edit them in Lightroom because Lightroom is definitely the superior editor when it comes to editing the saturation, the clarity, the dehazing, all those details are way better to edit in Lightroom. 
and the only reason why I'm doing this right now in Lightroom is because Aurora HDR does not currently work with the new version of Mac, which is Mac OS Big Sur. Um, so as you can see, I am running that latest version of Mac and that is why it's not working. So Lightroom works perfectly for this. Of course, I would like to do this a lot faster with the batch editing tools in Aurora, but this definitely works and I wanted to make a video showing you guys how it works in case you ever need to use this feature as well. Anyway guys, if you learned anything new from the video, definitely hit the subscribe button and notification bell and also be sure to give this video a thumbs up, that way it will rank higher for me in the algorithm. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.